Hello students, welcome back to my channel. So today we will go through a poem, Goodbye Party for Miss Pushpa T.S. It is written by Nisim Ezekiel. The poet Nisim Ezekiel is an Indian Jewish poet. He is an autonomous emblem in the literary foundation of India, precisely when inferring to English poetry. Ezekiel has been hailed for perceptive and well-designed diction. He has been commended for his contemporary and obsolete ideas with an aroma of logical and pragmatic sensibility, endorsing the modern-day dilemmas in a vogue way. He is given an exotic highway to Indian English literature with inoculating the conception of testimony in young Indian writers. So let's begin with a poem. Friends, our dear sister is departing for foreign in two three days and we are meeting today to wish her bon voyage the speaker addresses the colleagues and subordinates as friends in a party to bid goodbye to a subordinate he tells them that their dear sister miss pushpa is leaving for a foreign country and they all wish her happy journey you are all knowing Friends, what sweetness is in Miss Pushpa? I don't mean only external sweetness, but internal sweetness. Miss Pushpa is smiling and smiling even for no reason, but simply because she is feeling. In these lines, the speaker reminds the friends of Miss Pushpa's sweetness, which is both internal and external. He tells of Miss Pushpa's good and amicable nature. She always puts on a smiling face. It is obvious that Nisim Ezekiel is ridiculing the habitual use of the continuous tense even where it is ungrammatical and inappropriate. Miss Pushpa is coming from very high family. Her father was renowned advocate in Bulsa or Surat. I am not remembering now which place. Now the speaker continues his address at the goodbye party and tells the audience that Miss Pushpa belongs to a rich family. Her father was a famous advocate in Balsar or Surat. So he is not remembering the correct place. Surat? Ah, yes. Once only, I stayed in Surat with family members of my uncle's very old friend. His wife was cooking nicely. That was long time ago. In these lines, the fun is made of the wayward mind of the speaker who forgets the occasion and starts talking about his days in Surat with the family of his uncle's old friend. Now the speaker is informed by someone in audience that the place was Surat and he remembers and talks about his experience in Surat. The speaker's digression to Miss Pushpa's father and hanging on it, the speaker's connection to Surat and then to his or her uncle's very old friend and his wife there are typical of the unprepared spontaneous speech characteristic of many Indians who lack propriety in such grave formal functions. Coming back to Miss Pushpa, she is most popular lady with men also and ladies also. Now after diversion from topic of his speech, the speaker goes back to Miss Pushpa. He says that she is very popular with both men and women. It is obvious in the lines that Nisim Ezekiel is ridiculing the amusing, ungrammatical speech of Indians and their sentimental, exaggerated way of speaking. Whenever I asked her to do anything, she was saying, just now only I will do it. That is showing good spirit. I am always appreciating the good spirit. Pushpa Miss is never saying no. Now praising his subordinate Miss Pushpa, the speaker goes ahead and praises her good nature. She would never say no to the work assigned to her. This shows that she has a good spirit and her readiness to do any work. She is a willing worker. The unnecessary use of just and only exhibits the speaker's ignorance of the usage of English words, creating laughter and fun. Whatever I or anybody is asking, she is always saying yes. And today she is going to improve her prospect and we are wishing her bon voyage. Now I ask other speakers to speak and afterwards Miss Pushpa will do summing up. In the concluding lines, the speaker says that she was always ready to help whenever asked by him or any other colleague. 
Today the speaker and the other colleagues have gathered to wish her happy journey as she is going abroad to improve her prospects. After this speech is over, the speaker asks other speakers to speak and says that Miss Pushpa will sum up. She will end up after the colleague's speech. So Miss Pushpa is portrayed as a satisfying identity. The poem may be straightforward one. Yet it talks about a genuine topic. The poem starts with present continuous tense which can be seen throughout the poem. You must know that the principal theme in this poem is not the loss of a companion. It's human foibles or character faults. And this poem is in the form of a dramatic monologue. And the poem is in free verse typical of modern poetry. I do hope you have understood this poem. In case you have any doubts, you can comment below and do subscribe to my channel and keep watching for more videos. Thank you.